It's about the heart. Actions, the third crown jewel in our spiritual journey, lay bare the contents of our hearts. As seen in Romans 12 14, our actions should radiate with humility, compassion, and understanding. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. These are instructions, not suggestions. They emphasize the importance of our actions reflecting the faith we claim. Indeed, as the Apostle James teaches us, we can demonstrate our faith through our actions. This is a call to bless others, not to bring harm, to empathize with both joy and sorrow, and to refrain from inflated self-importance. One insight worth noting is that it may be more challenging to genuinely rejoice with those who are rejoicing than to weep with those in sorrow. In the throes of shared joy, jealousy can often sneak in, subtly tainting our reactions. For instance, hearing of someone's unexpected fortune, one might be tempted to think, why wasn't it me with a rich uncle? In contrast, sorrow rarely invites envy. As we sit with others in their pain, our hearts echo their distress naturally. Yet, in the midst of another's suffering, we often pressure ourselves to say the right thing. From years of ministry, I've come to realize that simply being there, offering a steady presence, is often the most comforting. Quoting scripture, extending an encouraging word, or offering help has its place, but most people don't need a sermon in moments of deep grief. They need a companion to hold space for them, to accompany them to the hospital, to sit in silence, to listen, and to acknowledge their pain without attempting to fix it. Take, for instance, the story of a little girl whose playmate passed away. She told her mother she intended to comfort the deceased friend's mother. After an hour of visiting, when asked what she had done or said, the little girl responded, I didn't say anything. I just sat in her lap and cried with her. Such is the power of shared sorrow. So, we strive to weep genuinely with those who weep and sincerely rejoice with those in joy. Do you find it hard to rejoice with those who rejoice? Do you want to fix someone's sorrow? Remember, rejoicing may require more intentionally due to lurking jealousy, but both actions are paramount. Both are expressions of our faith, reflections of the love of Jesus Christ, and steps in our journey toward humility. As believers, our actions should be the mirror in which others can see Christ. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. 